Hello teachers, I'm going to show you really quick how to put um, discipline reports into RunWeb. We're not going to talk about the philosophy of when to do that, how to do that, or any other classroom management. I'm just going to show you the technology of how to do it. So I'm on my RunWeb homepage. I'm in the right semester, which I always check. Go over to your menu bar, and you need to pick students. And I'm going to pick my son, who hasn't even started school yet, so he can't have a, he hasn't done anything wrong yet. And we're going to put in a fake discipline report for him. So um, it pops up automatically on his dashboard, and you're going to go over on the right-hand column to Behavior, and you'll see there's nothing listed there. Um, you're going to click the plus sign next to Event, and you're going to get this box here. Now, um, this top box, you can type in what, what happened in class as a general kind of label for it. There's a lot of weird stuff in here. Um, some of these will totally work for you, but I mean, this one's really specific, chasing a classmate and throwing water. You can ignore that and just put whatever you want here. So just inappropriate let's say language okay description at the top will be kind of a general um, note about what happened if um, there are specific words like especially for inappropriate language that you do not want to type up there please don't um, you can just say that they 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 use an inappropriate phrase and maybe if they were involved in an altercation with another student you need to call it another student um, don't put the other student's name in that top box so this is the part that will go to parents whenever they um, get a copy of the discipline report. I'll show you how to email that in just a second. The bottom part, however, is a confidential part. Um, and the admin can see this, and this is actually really helpful for us to know, um, to track patterns in student behavior. So um, on this one, you can say who the other children were that were involved in an incident, if there were. You can even put the exact phrasing um, that the student said, or you know, you can, you can use little asterisks or whatever, but um, this is where we would put kind of more specific information or even like hunches that a teacher has about why things happened, um, but things that you wouldn't necessarily share with the parent um, because they're just your opinion about things. But we want that box to just be a little more specific information um, and then the top box here for description just to be really straightforward. It doesn't have to have emotion attached to it or any kind of like scolding behavior. You can just say something simple like if this is Jackson, you know, um, Jackson w was in a fight in class um, with another student in class about whatever, um, about the pencil sharpener, <laughs> and lost his temper and exclaimed blah, 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 okay? So um, exclaimed something, or you can just say used inappropriate behavior right here. Um, so you don't have to say too much um, here. And then I always say, I you know talk to him in the hall. Sorry, I can't type and talk at the same time. I talk to him in the hall and, and he apologized. Um, and I always put the student's response and if it was an appropriate response or not. And if we're seeking any more information or if you'd like to have a, you know, a conference with their parents, you can put that in there as well. So um, I always just say what happened and how, if it met resolution or not, and then that's it. And you can put whatever you want in this box. So you're always gonna put the date, um, let's put today. And then the sanction is always gonna be that you emailed the parent. If you had to um, call the parent, you can tell them that you called them, or if you had to send them down to the character dean, that's actually the director of family ministries, which is Mr. Hay or um, if you're requesting a parent meeting. Um, you can also put in here like, you know, sent to, Mr. Henry, um, and you know you can save and close that. You'll see it pop up um, down here if I put view all years. Um, you can see all of the lists here. Actually, you can only see the ones that you put in most of the time, so don't worry if there's not something there. But and as administrators, we can see a complete list of um, discipline reports that have been put in by all the teachers, and so it helps us in. Um, recognizing patterns in student behavior. So even if you think it's not a big deal, if you've reached more than just the first warning stage about one behavior, you, will, you put those reports in, and then we can start to see if even there are tiny things that are happening over and over again, that that might be um, a call for help and a chance for us to intervene in that student's life. And again, we don't think of these as punitive. We're not looking to punish a student or catch a student. We're looking for opportunities to engage them in character discussions. And so. I'm not just saying that as words, like we really, really want to use those as opportunities to grow that student and then even to increase our relationship with that student because many times when we're talking to them about dress code over and over again, we can ask them about the heart. 
you know, why are we continuing to have this problem every time when we've talked about this and you said that you would change your behavior? What's going on? And usually those just open up beautiful conversations. So don't feel like you're getting a kid in trouble because you're putting in a behavior report. We want to normalize this. So just follow the procedure, please, please, please. If you need to edit it, you can click on the pencil here. If you want to get rid of it, you can put it here. But I want to show you real quick um, that you, you need to, after you're done and you've hit view all years and this pops up, I want you to hit this little email icon. You need to email Mr. Hay and Mr. Henry. So you can go down here and you can click them. And then you're gonna email custody, okay? Um, you can email correspondence, that's fine. Custody will also get their parents. Um, I usually don't email the student. I mean, sometimes you can, I guess, if it's an older student, seven through 12, but, um, and then hit send email. It'll send them all uh, a report of what happened. Um, and that's there. If you just put it in as like a warning um, and you don't want to like alarm the parents, it's fine, but we would just rather you send that email and always CC Mr. Hay and Mr. Henry so they can just have it on the radar that this has been put in. Um, and then a couple of times a year, we'll print off a big report and see if somebody's popping up over and over again. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this now because poor Jack didn't do a thing. And I hope that is helpful for you.